Hey there. This is Max Convexity. I have a quick end of day update for you on the QQQYs and also on the JEPYs. It's been a great week for both of them. Uh, this is a live picture of the market right here. The green box, these are 15 minute bars or candles. This is where the market started this morning. This is where we are now. If, if the market closes inside the green box, we make a profit. If it closes above the green box, we make a full profit. Under the green box is a loss. So we're rooting for the NASDAQ, the NDX, to go up here in the last few minutes. And it could darn sure happen. We have about 50 minutes left. But if not, we'll get the closing prices, and I'll give you an update later on how much we had to pay to post that option. You can see here on Thursday and Friday, that was a winning trade. On Wednesday, we actually close right at the top line, which is where you're, which is what you're aiming for. The top line is your maximum profit, the top line or over the top line. So that was a good day. On Tuesday, we closed in the green box, a little bit under the top line. Uh, this day, we made uh, made lots of money, 945,000 closed above the profit box. This day, we had a loser because you can see right at the end of the day, it slipped outside of the profit. Zone and we had a small loser on that day. All right, over here looking at JEPY, you can see in today's action we're right at the break even line. The bottom line is your break even line, and we look like we're right about there. So we'll see how we close in these last 15 minutes. I'll have an update about 5 o'clock. You can see on Friday it was a full profit. On Thursday we closed, we had had a, about a maximum profit, closed right at the top line. It looks like on Wednesday we slipped under, we slipped out of the profit box just a little bit. Sure enough, we lost thirty-one thousand dollars on Wednesday. But no matter, it was a, it was a good week. Other than that, um, Tuesday was a profit. Monday was a full profit. Even last Friday, nice a nice profit. So on the JEPY. The guys over at Yomax, the managers managed to catch 0.22% premium this week J per day. Jay wanted to catch 0.25 a day, so this is pretty good. If you annualize 0.22, multiply it by 250, how many trading days there are in a year, you get 48%. So at this rate, we'd make about 48% a year dividend on the JEPY. Let's look back over here at the... QQQ wise really quick. On the QQQ wise, you can see we've been capturing more and our average is 0.38. That's that's pretty good. That annualizes out to 96%. And I bet everyone would be pretty happy with 96%. I know I sure would be. I do want to mention that these, these calculations don't include, or it doesn't include how much money you make off treasuries. I, I think that's going to be a negligible amount of money. As an option trader, I'm more interested in the option side of the strategy, the, how much the option captures, how much that short call captures really is what drives the strategy. So I'm going to track the capture. I might even start tracking the intrinsic capture versus the in extrinsic capture. I'll let you know more on that. I'll be back about 5 o'clock when I get these closing prices from Defiance, and we'll see how we ended up for the day. Thank you very much. Have a good day.